What's up guys, Devil Dog Gamer here, and we're back with some more Escape from Tarkov. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the closed beta, the upcoming closed beta, which is hitting this month, because there are there is an issue with this um, game, and I fully believe that first impressions are everything. And not only am I just reaching out to you guys who are going to join in on the closed beta to understand something, but hopefully maybe Battle State Games will also um, take a look at this and be like, okay, maybe that's possibly a good idea. This Escape from Tarkov is one of my favorite games. I think everything it does is amazing, and I've been with it from day one in the alpha. Um, I've been playing it day one, and I've seen it go through a lot of bumps and a lot of changes. And um, right now, this patch is pretty bad, and we're going to talk about some of the issues with it. First, though, I'd like to say, I've been, see, been seeing a lot of this lately. You know, X-Streamer killed you, X-YouTuber killed me. No, that doesn't happen. All my videos are usually two weeks old when you see them, and uh, I even still have my SKS. I don't even have Fort Ar Armor unlocked, so if you see someone in Fort Armor and it's like, Oh, it's got to be Devil Dog. No, that's not me. There's only so many guns and so many variations you can do. People fucking copy. You use the same guns all the time. The reason I actually started doing this SKS, though, is because I found someone who had a gun like this, ended up getting killed with it, and then decided to build it myself and do it. Um, but anyways, I'm going to show you guys a clip from my most recent stream, and this is the glaring problem with Escape from Tarkov right now um, in the alpha state. And uh, it just started this patch, and it's just been very, very bad. And um, I want you to see this, and this is this is what we're going to talk about a little bit. Holy fuck. Are you serious right now? Are you fucking serious right now? Oh my fucking god. Dude. This is just beyond dumb. So, as you can see, there's a big, big desync problem. And this just started this last patch recently. And um, it's pretty much every other round. You might, I might get one good round or back-to-back desync rounds. It's been making, you know, doing Escape from Tarkov content pretty tough. And the only reason I'm bringing this to light, because I don't, it's an alpha, I really do enjoy this game. There have been problems in the past, nothing of this nature. Um, the only reason I'm bringing it up now is because closed beta is literally right around the corner. It could be today, it could be released tomorrow, this week, it doesn't matter. And with closed beta hitting, there will be a ton of new people experiencing Tarkov for the first time. Now, with early access games, first impressions are absolutely everything. You know, look at um, Daisy Standalone, for instance. Daisy Standalone had nothing content-wise, and people crucified the game, and it's pretty much dead at the moment. And Escape from Tarkov is such a unique game, and just such a fun game, and just a tense at that. This is the most tense game you'll ever play, that I feel like this, the negativity that might come from this desync will do it harm. And honestly, this is, this is the first time this problem has ever happened. And, you know, I know the developers are on it because it's been reported a thousand times on the forums. So much so that literally it's just every other thread is about the desync problem. So the developers are on it. But the problem is we don't know if the developers are just going to open beta up with this issue still in hand or if there's already a fix or what. We know the beta is coming this month. They've done posts about it. It is coming in waves this month. So that means more content creators, more live streamers, more YouTubers, more players. And if, if you were a player coming in after watching so many X videos, which are all edited, videos are edited, you know, people aren't going to put up rounds where, um, you know, their they're dude's literally just standing still the whole time or everyone else is standing still the whole time and stuff like that. So, you know, what's, the, what's their first impression if they go in and all of a sudden they hit these massive desyncs? To where you know they're getting killed out of nowhere or everybody's stationary and they're like okay and they walk 10 feet and all of a sudden the server catches up and they're all dead they're not going to be enjoying the game they're gonna be like what the fuck fuck this game yada yada and that therein lies the issue with that um so the reason i'm doing this video is to kind of tell everybody like listen this isn't if you're going to join in the beta if this still persists in the beta 
because we don't know if it is or not, don't judge it based off that. This, this is literally the first time this problem's ever come up. Most of the other problems in the alpha have been really minor. Um, nothing really too crazy here and there, like nothing of this game breaking level. So don't totally judge it on this issue. If, it's, if it persists, if you have this issue to where you know, it's still desicky, don't play it. Just wait a little while, let the hot fixes come out to fix it. Um, whenever they've opened up waves, and that's the thing, this is a very limited access game, and whenever they've opened up waves, the servers have kind of had to take up the, you know, take up the new amount of players. Now with the desync issue as it is now, I can only imagine if it's not fixed, what it's gonna, what's gonna happen when we start adding more players into it. And uh, that's the thing, I don't want people to be like, what the fuck, man, fuck this game. It's shitty, you know, stuff like that. Really, this game's awesome. When it's working, trust me, you're gonna love every fucking second of this game. It is just so insane. You're never gonna fucking shake more in your life. Because I, I tell you what, when fucking you're getting shot at and you don't want to lose your good shit, you're gonna fucking feel some, some tension, let me tell you. And, you know, that's the thing. And I've heard some from some people saying that the developers have a fix for the, the desync, but they're pushing it with the beta, but I've seen no information on it whatsoever. And that's the thing, that possibly could be happening to where the developers have figured out, Battlestate has figured out how to fix the desync, and they're just waiting to throw it in the hot, like into the patch for the, the closed beta access. Who knows, we don't know, we don't know. Like, um, you know, this is a Russian developer, so they get a lot of their emissaries to spread information and stuff like that because, you know, the language barrier. There's always a language barrier with whenever you're dealing with any game developer um, that's not native English. It's kind of hard to spread through the rest of the community um, and all the different languages, the information. So we might not know, you know, that they might have that fix. They might have, you know, not have told us for a reason. Who knows? We don't know. That's the thing. We really don't know what's going to happen. So, and that's the thing that worries me. Like, I've been, you know, I've been trying to say as much as possible, like, listen, the, you know, the bait is coming. Just, this may be an issue. Just ignore it. Like, this is, last patch was amazing. So much fun. No issues whatsoever. You, some, there was a random where you'd injure your leg walking randomly, but it was nothing where it would, like, completely fuck you over like this. You know what I mean? So it's not too much of an issue. The good news is, though, the best way to tell if you're having these issues, do a bunch of hatchet runs on factory. So if the closed beta hits and you want to make sure that there's no there's no desync, there's no issues or anything like that, just load up your hatchet, no gear whatsoever, anything like that, run into factory and see what happens. The worst that happens is you get out with some free gear. You know what I mean? So that's the easiest way to test. That's actually what I do when I want to start recording, is I run in, I do a customs run with hatchet and a factory run with hatchet before I start bringing out gear. And it's still 50-50 chance that it's actually going to be okay. Um, but that just comes to the territory, to be honest. Like, you know, it, it comes to the territory. Um, but yeah, it's still, you know, I, I've been trying to take a break here and there from Tarkov and not record it as much, as much as I'd love to throw the content out there while I have the gear. Because every time they do a, a, a release, a big update, they wipe everybody's inventory, so everybody starts the new release on a clean slate. So you see a lot of people now taking out their good stuff and, and you know, their really good gear and pushing out and trying to see if they can actually, you know, and, and using it, because it's going to get wiped from their inventory anyways. So that may or may not happen. It's probably going to happen for beta, uh, I assume, unless they're just going to let people in the beta wave and not patch it, but I'm assuming they're going to patch it with the desync issue. There's probably going to be a hot fix. They're hot fixing stuff here and there. Um, so you see people take their stuff out like that. Um, but l l it, this game is awesome. It really is, you know, don't give it the early judgment. Test it out, but it's you got to remember, though, this is early access. It's under active development. This is the beta wave. Um, so this is the closed beta wave to where, you know, they feel it's done up enough to where there's enough content to bring more people in and there's plenty of content there's you know there may be only three raids well four when beta hits but you you'll get your money's worth let me tell you you're gonna there's just so much cool shit to do in here um that you're definitely get your money's worth but you gotta remember it's coming from an alpha and this is the first time this issue has come up so it's not like it's a every patch this issue comes up and they have to fix it again it's literally this is the first time it's ever come up and um I, like you know i don't usually do this for games you guys know this i, I don't usually draw attention and, and say like listen ignore this because you know fuck it but escape from tarkov is is one of my favorite games and um any negativity it gets because of this isn't really needed because people are gonna need to remember this is why the alpha cost 140 dollars it was to keep the people who 
who didn't understand that this was under development out. And the people who wanted to help in the development and see it as it progressed, they, they knew what they were getting into. Um, and I totally agreed with the way they did it because, you know, when you see other early access games, you know, they go for their normal $60, everybody and their mother jumps in, and all of a sudden, everybody's just sitting there shit talking, like, oh, it sucks. I mean, go to any early access Steam discussion and just read what people say. And this is what Battle State's been avoiding with it, and everybody's been pretty good about it. I have to say, the forums are usually not filled with negativity, but closed beta's coming. And with this issue as it is now, you never know how it's going to go. So I'm doing my part to kind of calm everybody down and be like, all right, you know, just, just bear in mind, this is how it is, but it's not like it's not going to be like this forever. They will get it sorted, especially once the more people come in, they'll be able to get a better handle on how many people are on the servers, what kind of load is done, etc., stuff like that. But anyways, boys, if you want to see some more Escape from Tarkov, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't grabbed beta, check out Escape from Tarkov. And uh, if you want it, if you like what you see, get into it. It's not $140, so by all means, go do it. All right, boys, I'll talk to you later. Peace.